In this video, we will very quickly look at problems based on Faraday's laws. The amount of chemical change that occurs during, chem during electrolysis is directly proportional to the amount of current that is passed through the electrolytic solution. That's one way of stating Faraday's law. When we talk about Faraday's laws, we also have to talk about Faraday's constant. It's a charge carried by one mole of electrons, and it can be represented like this, 1F is equals to Avogadro's number, Na, and 1.6 into 10 to the power of negative 19 is the charge of an electron. The product of those two numbers will give you 96,485 coulombs. So one Faraday is equals to 96,485 coulombs. That's the important thing here. The next term that we need to relate to is an ampere. Ampere is represented by the letter I. It's also the current strength. When we say we have one, a current strength of one ampere, what we mean is one more, one coulomb, a charge of one coulomb is passing through the circuit every second. So if you have two amperes, that's equals to two coulombs in one second. That's what it means. So a five ampere would be a higher current strength because we have five coulombs for flowing through a circuit in one second. So it kind of gives you the current strength. Q is the charge that we represent. Q is used, the letter Q is used to represent coulombs. I is used to represent the current strength amperes. And T is represented, um, it represents time and it's actually expressed in seconds all the time. That's very important. Now, this equation is what we really need. Ne, which represents the total number of moles of electrons that are flowing through a circuit, can be calculated if you know the total charge and charge of one mole of electron. Charge of one mole of electrons. Or we can say Ne is equals to I T by F in simple terms. So this is the equation you got to remember. Always need to calculate the total number of moles of electrons that are passing through a circuit and then you can actually calculate the amount of substance that is produced at a given electrode during electrolysis or electrolytic reduction. That's what we're attempting to do. The next term that we need to define is the voltage or volt. It's usually also called the electromotive force or EMF. The voltage is a measure of the amount of energy that can be delivered by a coulomb of electric charge. And one volt is equals to one joule per coulomb. And joule is a unit of energy. So we can say that the energy uh, that is possessed by the electrons when every coulomb of charge is flowing through is what we're referring to here. So now let's solve a problem on Faraday's law. Here is the question for you. How many grams of chlorine gas would be produced during the electrolysis of aqueous solution of sodium chloride when a current of 2.5 amperes is passed for 40 minutes? Here the objective would be to determine the number of moles of electrons that are passing through the circuit during the chemical reaction. We can do that by calculating the number of moles of electrons using the equation that we had seen earlier. It by F is equal to number of moles of electrons where It represents the total charge. and F represents charge of one mole of electrons. So when you divide the total charge by the charge of one mole of electrons, we will get the number of moles of electrons. 
that are passing through the circuit during the chemical reaction. So we will substitute the numbers. Na is going to be equal to 2.5 amperes is going to be coulombs per second times 40 minutes, which we're going to convert it into seconds. The conversion unit is one minute is 60 seconds divided by t by Faraday's constant, which is 96,485 coulombs. Cancel out the terms, coulombs and coulombs. seconds and seconds, minutes and minutes, we will get a number. Number of moles of electrons are equal to 0 0.0622 moles of electrons. So that's the number that we need for the calculation. This is the reaction that is taking place in the electrochemical cell, Cl minus will approach the anode, which is positively charged, and release an electron. Since chlorine exists as a diatomic gas, two moles of chloride ions will release two moles of chlorine, two moles of electrons plus one mole of chlorine gas. So the number of moles of electrons that we have is equals to 0 0.0622 moles. Therefore, the number of moles of chlorine gas, Cl2 gas, will be half of that, 0 0.0622 into 1 by 2, because every mole of electron is equals to one mole of chlorine atoms. That releases uh, half a mole of chlorine gas. Now, we need to change the number of moles of chlorine into grams. So we have moles times the conversion unit. One mole Cl2 weighs 35.45 grams. Therefore, mass of Cl2 gas released is equals to 2.2 grams. So if 2.5 current strength or if a current of 2.5 amperes is passed for 40 minutes through aqueous solution of sodium chloride, then it produces about 2.2 grams of chlorine gas. That's what this problem tells you. That's how you solve a problem relating to the quantities of products formed during oxidation or reduction reactions in electrolytic cells using Faraday's law.